the gym originally opened up in 2005 to the public. Um, there was sort of a school facility before that, uh, in that it was on the outside of a wall starting in 1994 with chain link fence on the outside. And the teacher by the name of Peter Mason was sort of instrumental in getting that uh, going. Yeah, as a phys ed department, did a bonding exercise one day where we went to Sports Rent, which had the only climbing wall in town at the time, and we did an afternoon of, of climbing. We had so much fun. I came back from that and I thought, we should build a climbing wall here at the school. And so for the next year, I planned on how that could happen. The climbing wall goes back to the early 90s. A gentleman by the name of Peter Mason, Paul Day, had a vision of creating something special in a high school, and that was the uh, introduction of the climbing wall, which was very small in size and, and very limited. It grew to a second phase that uh, introduced a bouldering to Stelly's, so it's a bouldering climbing, and now to what you see behind me is uh, seven stories tall. I was uh, one of the first people to climb in the old cave, which was chain link fence outside the gym wall. Uh, so that was in 1994. Uh, when I went here as a student, uh, I actually wasn't very, I wasn't into it, and I didn't really use the climbing wall at all. And then uh, after I graduated, after I finished university, I was sort of approached about teaching some of our outdoor programs, and within that came the climbing wall. And so I had to start climbing, and I just found that I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it was an activity that me and my family got into, and uh, you know, I wish I could spend more time on the wall, but sometimes you know, when you work in the place that you're in all the time, you don't have time other than that to train or to climb. So. Uh, we built what we are now standing in. It was an outside wall at the time, uh, protected by chain link fence, but after five break-ins in the first 15 months, we decided it's time to build it in. So that was the next fundraising phase, and we built it in, and uh, that happened about 15 months after we had initially opened it. As a result of that, uh, we had a little bouldering wall outside, but we wanted to do something better than that, and so the idea was germinated for phase two, and that took a lot longer, and we didn't open that until uh, October of 2005 and this one the first phase was uh, completed in September of 1993 so those first two phases were worth probably a million dollars and I was doing that on top of full-time teaching it took a long time welcome to Stelly's home of the singers and welcome to a very unique facility behind me it's the final phase of our climbing probably the only one in a North American high school and uh, very few walls of this capacity in uh, North American period. So we're very fortunate to have this uh, at our school. Uh, built primarily with uh, funding from many levels, provincial, federal, local, private, and uh, owned and operated by the Boulders Climbing Society. And a big uh, kudos to Commanda for making this vision continue and bringing the Climbing Academy to still. So we're really lucky to have this wall behind us. Myself, am I a climber? I've climbed a little bit, but I'm not an avid climber and, and it takes time and, and one day I will spend a lot more time climbing, but it takes tremendous skill and patience and uh, a very unique set of uh, skill sets that uh, one day I'll, I'll find time to do a little more. My name is Sebastian Powell. I'm the head coach for the Climbing Academy this year. My climb experience, I've been climbing for about uh, 12 years now teaching climbing for nine years. Started back in Calgary, got my climbing gym instructors back there. Uh, started teaching introductory lessons, coaching a little uh, youth group. Just kind of fun, drop in. Moved out to Victoria, and in 2004, I started helping out with a climbing club back out here with a 
played me in Commander, and we just was a drop in kind of after school club, and it's grown from there. And so when we opened in 2005, I started coaching competitive teams. So that means about seven years now I've been coaching competitively. Kids all from um, just doing local competitions, right to international competitions. And from then I've also got my CGI level three and also my TRCI, which is an outdoor guiding center. Here at Stelly's we have a climbing academy. And what that means is the students get uh, an opportunity to achieve four credits, plus credits for physical education, and all these credits go towards a graduation account. So the kids pay an extra fee to climb daily uh, throughout the weeks. It can be either a two semester or one semester program, but right now we have just over 70 kids involved in our academy, doubled from the previous year. The Climbing Academy is in its second year of existence, and we currently have uh, 54 students. Uh, about 16 or 18 of them are in half a year course, and then we have 36 students in a full year option. They spend three days on the wall, um, getting instruction and doing some sort of training as well as two days of sort of fitness or you know, um, fit, sort of fitness related material. We do bring in guest speakers. The biggest thing for us in the Climbing Academy is that you know, it's, a, it's a safe place for people to enjoy themselves. And, um, you know, not everyone in high school fits in in certain areas of within the school. Well, our sort of goal and within the Climbing Academy is to have a whole group accept themselves and uh, accept others as well. So we have, you know, we have students that are off to world championships and we have people that right now can't make it to the top of the wall and that's okay and uh, we look for them to be sort of welcomed within a group. It's grade 9 through 12 so you know the 9s and 12s seem to get along and, and that's our sort of biggest goal. Um, other than that we really just want to grow the sport of climbing. We're not looking to put people on podiums, um, we're looking to, for them to develop a life of uh, where they can have some sort of physical fitness. Uh, I never had the vision for a climbing academy way back when, but I could easily see that it was a natural extension once we got this final phase uh, and expansion built. But that was Commanda's uh, vision to take it to that step. It's a natural place for an academy and, and having the, the facility built at a school because we've got a complete turnover of students every four years. So we would always have uh, students who are interested in climbing. We'd all, always have students who would help out with the rec man, the lane for birthday parties. It's just a natural fit for this to be at a high school. What I bring into this is my uh, my knowledge and my experience of developing programs, like both training programs and just uh, technique programs for climbing. We put an activity out there. It doesn't matter if you just started climbing or if you've been climbing for, say, five, six years. We can then adapt that program or that exercise to your ability, right? So no matter where you're at, you get to learn at whatever progress you want. Um, and the nice thing is, is when we do it, we really do this as a um, valuation based on yourself one-on-one. -on -one. We don't actually, we don't compare you to anybody else. So with my ability and my experience with climbing, I'm able to take a climber and evaluate based on where they are at and help them adapt the program to what they need it to be. Everybody, as we all know, learns in different ways.